we come on the air, former Penn State coach Jerry Sandusky has been sentenced to prison for the rest of his life. He is 68, and today he was sentenced to at least 30 years behind bars, the price for sexually abusing children. And today in the courtroom, he defiantly stood face to face with some of his victims, who were just 10 feet away. Jerry Sandusky arrived at his sentencing in a prison uniform, a uniform he'll likely wear for the rest of his life. Inside, he listened intently as three of his victims read emotional statements. Victim five, who was assaulted once in a locker room shower in 2001, cried as he told the court, the sentence will never erase what he did to me. It will never make me whole. He must pay for his crimes. Take into account the tears, pain, and private anguish. Victim four, who endured years of sexual abuse, looked directly at Sandusky and told the former football coach, I want you to know I do not forgive you, and I don't think I will ever forgive you. For about 13 minutes, Sandusky read from a statement that he finished writing late last night, saying, I'm filled with emotion and determination. I did not do these disgusting acts. Others can make me out to be a monster, but they cannot take away my heart. On the eve of his appearance for sentencing, Sandusky released a tape to the Penn State student radio station protesting his innocence. They can take away my life. They can make me out as a monster. They can treat me as a monster, but they can't take away my heart. In my heart, I know I did not do these alleged disgusting acts. In court, as the judge handed down a sentence of at least 30 years, he told Sandusky the crime was a story of the betrayal of 10 children. At a news conference after the sentencing, Sandusky's lawyers said their client has always maintained he did nothing wrong. Jerry Sandusky has always maintained his innocence. Uh, there could have been discussions, there might have been some deal that could have been worked out, but Jerry Sandusky wanted none of it. What, what were the details of that deal? Well, I'd, ra I'd, I'd rather prefer not to go into those, but the bottom line is this. Jerry never flinched from his position that he was innocent. His statement today was a masterpiece of banal self-delusion, completely untethered from reality and without any acceptance of responsibility. Neither Sandusky's wife or daughter spoke, but both attended today's hearing. Three victims did speak, detailing the impact of the sexual abuse they suffered while connected to Sandusky's charity for underprivileged kids. He was convicted of sexually abusing 10 boys over 15 years. I hope this is trial and its outcome causes them to be known not as victims anymore, but by the character they displayed. For the victims, today's hearing is one small step toward healing and closure. Sandusky's attorney didn't bother to dispute the motion to declare him a sexually violent predator. As for the victims, any real sense of closure will likely remain on hold while Sandusky appeals the decision, arguing he didn't have enough time to form a defense.